atmosphere beyond the racing component and actually uh, did broadcast. And then for me personally, here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, from the moment uh, that I've been here on the PR side and then in the position I am today, you can always count on Bobby Unser to say, I want to be there to help. If you needed his help, you could call him, and he immediately was ready to help. He loved our sport. He loved our fans. He wanted to do everything he could to grow it. And what was really fun about Bobby was his opinion and opinions and how he didn't sugarcoat them. Bobby told you the way he felt, and he meant it. It came from his heart. Sometimes they were difficult conversations. When he didn't like something you were doing, he was quick to tell you. Um, but that's what I really appreciated about him. And for years, he would come here in May, and he couldn't wait to be here because this is was his life for so long in May, but mostly because he wanted to connect to fans. I could pick a phone up, I could walk over to his bus and say, hey, I need you to come make a speech, I need you to meet this group of fans, we need you to do this media interview, and Bobby was always there with a smile on his face. You know, the last few years having him here, he could not get around really well, but he never let that bother him. He made sure that he was out doing the things he wanted to do. Um, one of the things I'm going to miss the most about him was uh, I would get a birthday call every September uh, from Bobby Unser, and I knew it was him calling after the first year I got it, so I wouldn't answer because I wanted his voice singing happy birthday to me on my voicemail. So I was going through those earlier today, listening to Bobby and Lisa sing happy birthday to Doug on his birthday. It's just an amazing person. We're definitely going to miss him. Uh, from a standpoint of what he means to the Speedway, he won three Indy 500s in three iconic race cars. There are a lot of folks that have won multiple times here, but not each time in an iconic race car. From his first win, uh, beating the beating the crazy turbines uh, with his piston driven uh, car that's one of the most famous cars in 1968 to that number 48 car that so means a lot to Dan Gurney another really important name here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway but to win uh, in 75 in that car and then to win for Roger Penske in 1981 in a PC car it's pretty impressive for somebody like that to have those three iconic cars uh, as part of his history here at the Speedway definitely will be missed our thoughts and prayers are certainly with Lisa and the rest of the Unser family I'm pretty excited about what our team's been able to put on our on our video board here. And then on the pylon, we've got Bobby Unser up there. We're going to leave him up for 48 hours in honor of that Gurney Eagle number 48 that meant so much to so many people, and me included, growing up as a race fan around central Indiana and watching him wheel that car around and put it in victory lane in 1975 in the rain. A pretty impressive finish there uh, for Bobby. But uh, sad day here, but we know Bobby's in a better place, and uh, his legacy obviously will live on long past the rest of us, really, really important winner here at the Speedway. For somebody who didn't grow up in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, how can you describe the impact that Bobby Unser had on sports entertainment? Well, I think for Bobby, because he was so good behind the wheel, that was part of it, but the other part was just that personality outside of the race car. And he was part of a trio of guys that had these amazing personalities outside of the race car, really helped grow our sport between Mario and Bobby and AJ. And then you got all kinds of other great race car drivers that ran along with him at that time. But those three were some of the biggest personalities, not just in our sport, but in sport in general. And they really helped raise the level of the Indianapolis 500. The friction between the three of those guys, because they all wanted to be the best, even still to this day, that when they saw each other at the racetrack or they had a chance to banter with each other, there's still a little bit of that, that competitive spirit that they had. And, and that really was what interested a lot of us in the 60s and 70s for the sport. And that really ha has carried it forward. But then having Bobby be here, because history and tradition is what makes the Indy 500 special, and have him come every year and want to make sure that he wasn't just here for the old folks, he was here for the young folks, trying to get new kids to understand why the sport was so important. Uh, but uh, I think it's just a combination of that personality and what he did on the track that made it so special. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, they're here. We're streaming right now, but... Yeah, that's fine, just so you know it's going to be streamed. Should I do a stand up? Yeah, you can do it if you want. Say again? Like I said, they're streaming, but as long as you don't mind it being in there, that's fine. Say anything you did What are you going to say? Bobby Unser was more than an incredible driver. He had an incredibly perfect, incredible. No, that's not what it was. Right. You need to be over there. What are you going to say? Bobby Unser was more than an incredible driver. He had an incredible personality. His life is immortalized. See, it needs to be on the other side. What? 
and you need the other shoulder. We need to go on that side, one or two. Let's make sure that's are you guys clear? Can I walk over? Sorry. Okay. Just want to make sure. The chill is not working here anymore. I've got a feeling. <laughs> there you go. Now you can do that shot. <laughs> You're doing over. So, the other side. Because you were using this arm, so I'm going to have you. Uh, you'll be okay as long as you. Okay, anytime you want. Three, two, one. Bobby Unser was more than an incredible race driver. He had an incredible personality. His life is immortalized on the IMS scoring pylon and the big pagoda. What did I say? Buddy? Take a step that way, Rich. Okay. Three, two, one. Bobby Unser was more than an incredible race driver. He had an incredible personality, attracted fans and attention. His life is immortalized on the IMS racing. Are you, you going to use your other hand? Or are you gonna use no, it? I'm going to be fine. Then you need to go over this way more. There you go. Three, two, one. Bobby Unser was more than an incredible race driver. He had an incredible personality. It was an attraction for fans and attention. His life now immortalized on the IMS scoring pylon and the pagoda. Okay? Yep. It's only used the whole time, but I can cover part of it if okay. you need to. Okay, let's get the hell out of the way.